Hello guys, how are you? Hi year three, how are you? Uh, this is the first face reveal for me. I wanted to make it interesting, so I hope you really like it. Fine. Uh, this is your homework. All right. Uh, you're going to open it from my um, the properties down, down under the video. You can download it if you still don't have the paper because I'm going to give the paper for everybody in year three. Anyways, in case, by any case, you lost this homework paper, please, you can download it from the properties below. Click the link, download it, and print it out. Stick it in your copy. Let's talk about your homework. This is a worksheet about to see. What do you know? Do you know how to do these certain things or not? So, ask yourself and answer. Okay? You will draw a smiling face by any tasks that you feel confident about. And you will write a question mark uh, by any task that you don't feel confident about. Okay. Now try each one of the tasks. Do you feel more confident about your skills? Draw a smiley face where you feel more confident. Fine. Uh, here, here in this column over here, you're going to do either a smiley face or the question mark. So, can you open a new file? Where? Where do you want to open a new file? Say anywhere. Paint, Word, anywhere you want. Can you open a new file or no? Uh, let's see. Of course I can. You can go to start. You can open a new file from here. Maybe from Microsoft Office. Maybe from Paint. Voila. This is a new file. Oops. No. This is a new file. Okay. So this is a new file. Can you do that? Can you do that year three? If you don't know where to get the smiley face from, in case you have it a uh, soft copy, all right, uh, you can add the smiley face from here, maybe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This is a smiley face. Yes, I can. Let's go to the next one. In your copybook, you can draw it. It's okay if you draw it. All right, guys, draw the smiley face. If you don't know it, don't hesitate. Make a question mark. Be honest to yourself, all right? Uh, I can make a break. Oops, I skipped one. I can type my name using an uppercase letter. Guys, do you know what's an uppercase letter? Mm -mm. Let's think. How can you make an uppercase letter? How? Let's take a look. Using, uh-uh, say it, yes, shift key. All right, if you know it, you do it. If you don't, put this question mark. I will answer you, all right? And here you can put your comment. Maybe you will say, I don't know what is an uppercase. Uh, maybe you're going to say that. Make it very small so it fits. Right? Maybe smaller. Yeah. So if it happens uh, like that, Or you can type nothing. Well, it's up to you. You write or you don't write anything. Okay. I can make a break between lines. Between lines, you make a break. Well, usually a break is like enter key. So you're breaking between lines. Uh, can you do that? Can you use enter key? Ask yourself. Well, if yes, then let's put a smiley face. You draw it. Draw it. It's okay. I said draw it. Or... Uh, you can, as I said, download from the link below and use Microsoft Office Word to do that. Uh, I can use Shift key. What does the Shift key do? Does it make an uppercase letter? Yes, it makes an uppercase letter. So, you can use Shift key for an uppercase letter. Just press on Shift and then press the letter you want and it will be um, capital letter, uppercase. I can delete a word. How can you delete a word? Uh, how can I delete a word? Some students will say, Miss, I don't know actually how to delete a word. Can you help me out on this? I will say, fine. Press the backspace. Where is backspace in my keyboard? Oh, I found it. It's the delete button. It's okay. It's not the delete button. It's called the backspace. There is another button called delete. 
So don't mix it up. Don't mix it up. Uh, yes, I can delete uh, using backspace. All right. Uh, I can make spaces between words. Do you know which key do we use for spaces? Hmm? It's easy. It's very easy. Use the space key. All right. So you can open Microsoft Office Word and try it. Okay. I can save my file. All right. Some of you guys will don't don't know how to save. Maybe I will discuss it with you. So it's okay. It's okay if you put um, question mark. I will help you out. I will explain it, and I'm basically gonna explain it all. But before I explain it next week, you're going to try it by yourself at home. All right. You're gonna try it. I will show you the trick. If you if I finish this. I go to file and I press save as because I want to save it somewhere new in this document. Yes, save it in my computer, uh, in desktop. All right, save as computer. Where to save it? I will save it uh, in, in browse. Let's see. I will save it in desktop. Okay, save. So, do you want a newest format? No, uh, okay, whatever, later. No problem. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I hope you understand. I hope you know what is self-assessment. And I hope you really got good information from this video. Uh, if you have any question, come to class, ask me. Don't be afraid. Or even if you want to have, if you have any question, ask me here in the comments probably. Okay, guys. Please like this video and subscribe.